Hi guys, my name is Donnie and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm making a tool that can make these. Alrighty guys, so in the last couple of weeks I've been working hard to get rid of some of the work that I've been doing in my workshop that are not related to the channel and I've made some progress. I still got this baby that needs to get out of my shop and I'm still waiting for parts from Germany for it and I hope to get it out by Christmas but there's only one thing that I can say about this puppy V12 baby but I'm gonna make a video about that in any case. But now we can continue with the Jaguar and uh, guys there's a lot of you that are watching the channel just for this car so I'm excited that we're going to continue with this one I'm also very excited to get a move on. Now guys I've only now made the basic shapes of the shell and there's a lot of finishing that needs to be done on it for it to become a car. And one of the things that need to happen is that these edges need to get finished off and the wheel arches need to be finished off. And here by the lights, we need to make those indentations that are like on this mold where the polycarbonate's gonna sit or where the glass is gonna sit. And for me to make these edges, there is a tool that will make life much easier and that is called a bead roller. Now a bead roller is something that sits in your workshop and you take your part there and you roll it through the bead roller depending on what type of die you've got on there and you can then finish your edges the way you want it. But that won't be very practical for me because I'm not going to be able to take these massive parts all the way to the bead roller and then manage to run those beads or these edges or whatever I want to do on the roller so I need something that is mobile that I can bring to the car or to the part and then just finish it off on the part so I haven't seen many tools that would be able to do that for me but I've come up with a mix and match of ideas that I've seen on the internet and I'm going to attempt to make the tool that I need for this car and that's what I'm going to be doing this week so bear with me and let's see how it goes okay guys so the tool that i'm going to attempt to make today is going to consist of these pieces of endless rod and this selection of bearings and some nuts and bolts and this vice grip so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be welding these rods onto the vice grip and if i do that and i put different configurations of bearings in these 10 millimeter rods and I clamp them down I could depending on the type of configuration I've got make different types of angles or roll different types of beads that I hope will look something like that if you understand what my picture looks like and then I can take this tool to my panel and then clamp it down with the vice grip and be able to roll the shapes that I'm looking for depending on how I put these bearings in here and and hopefully I'll be able to make a kind of a mobile bead roller that I can take with me and I can always upgrade these and make some different dies and so on for different types of projects so guys without any further ado I'm just going to weld this on there and screw these in here and see if my plan works Alrighty guys, I've done a thing. So I don't know if they work yet, but we're going to find out in a second. But what I've seen straight away guys is that I need to make some sort of a stopper here at the back 
because I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it through the aluminium and keep it steady without it having some kind of a stop here at the back. So before we test it, I'm just going to reconfigure these bearings a little bit so that I can have some sort of a stop at the back and um, then we can try it on some off-cut aluminium. Alrighty guys, so it's time for a test run. I have now put this piece of aluminium at the back just to make it to make a stop and I've cut a couple of pieces of off-cut aluminium into squares and I'm gonna see if I'm able to draw a bead without too much of a struggle. Let's give it a go. gonna work guys this is gonna work yes yes it is working look at that guys let's see if we can do this radius I think that might be a little bit more tricky, but let's give it a go. Alright, here we go, let's see. Okay guys, so I've now put a smaller diameter bearing on there. I'm going to see if I can make the bead protrude even more with this smaller diameter. And what I've also done is I've sanded down this edge where the guide goes as best I could. Because I think that's going to also help me get a better result. Let's give it a go. Sweet guys, sweet, this is going to be the answer, beautiful, I love it, I love it, beautiful guys, there we go, this is going to be exactly what I need to make those edges on where the headlights go and so on, on the Jaguar, I'm very satisfied with the results, I've got to tell you, that it is a little bit harder than I had seen or thought in my mind's eye it would be. So you need to grip it and keep it very steady. You cannot just pull it like that. But I mean that just makes sense because aluminium is a hard material. The other thing is that I'm going to replace this aluminium washer with maybe a stainless steel one. Because it tends to bite onto the aluminium. And I think if I put in a stainless steel or a hard uh, washy at the back it will slide or glide more easily on the aluminium but this is awesome now I can adjust the depth and the length depending on how many washes I put in and what the size and diameter of my bearings are and this tool is really going to help a lot with the Jaguar and also many other projects to come because it definitely gives a better result than using a hammer and a doily so guys, that's going to be it for this video. It's a very short one, but next week we're going to go full blast on the Jaguar. And I cannot wait to see you then. Cheers!